Well, hey, this is Chase, and I found a pretty exciting uh, tool that's absolutely free, and it's called Canva. Uh, so it's Canva, and this is going to be the title of this video. I'm using uh, Snagit to re do a recording of my screen. And by the way, you could do very similar things like this yourself. You could even take the same idea that I have as using Canva for cool YouTube videos or thumbnails, I'm sorry, and use Snagit, you can use QuickTime, you can use uh, Screen, uh, let's see, what is it, um, well, um, it is, what is it, Screen cast o -matic, okay, so, um, you know, check this out, because once you see what I'm going to show you, you could come in and create a video yourself and help your prospects okay so let me switch over to my browser and uh, by the way they have the coolest little i don't know what what how they do this but as you move your mouse it just creates this wild uh, pattern uh, underneath and kind of goes from blurry to sharp so anyway i've got a free account uh, i've never paid anything for this so i'm going to log in and I use RoboForm to always save my password, and so that's really good. Um, but let's go. We want to look for a thumbnail for, and they have, look at this. They have cover photos, posters, some really cool stuff, actually. Um, but we want to look under the More tab, and I want to get to Social Media, and it's not here. Let's go down. Do, do, do. Here we go. YouTube thumbnail. And I know this for a fact that thumbnails have to be 1280 pixels by 720. You'll, you don't need to know that. You just click right there. How easy was that? Can okay, we open up a new tab? And this is my untitled design. And let's see, there's probably some ways to change that, but I, I won't worry about the title right now. Now, I just took a few minutes looking through this and it's just awesome there's some really cool uh, designs and what you're going to do is you're going to take something from one and mix with another and you know just you're going to mix and match okay which is what you want to do you want to make something captivating um, and so this is interesting but i want to go up to there's one with a puppy okay what i like about the puppy and let me i'll just click watch that boom there's a 1280 by 720 image ready to go. But you're probably not going to do the one on the puppy, okay? So if you're not going to do a puppy, what you like, what I like is the text, really big. Puppies are nice. I'm just going to, you can move the puppy around. Notice the how to train your puppy stays there. It's nice and big. Now, when you click on the background, I get... I can copy it, can make, bring it to the forward, which means it's on top. I can move it to the back, which means it's under the text, or I can delete it. Now, we love puppies, but I'm going to delete that. Now, what I'm going to go over here, let's make this easy so we can see. Let's pick a background, and you can do some textures, okay? That's kind of interesting. Um, maybe even something like that. You want it to really stand out, maybe a blue. You can just kind of uh, see what works. I like the dark red or the green here. Let's go with dark red. Okay. So um, I've already copied in memory, you know, this title for the YouTube video. Plus it's going to be my thumbnail. So I'm going to copy that. And it's going to be a little tight. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So I just pasted that in. And... Um, it needs to be stretched out. So down here is a stretch. Okay. Now, I'm not going to put on the free part because it's just not going to work. So, boom. Let's just take that out. Now we have use Canva for cool YouTube video or thumbnails. Okay. Now, let's click on the text because I know I can change the text. So you have elements. You have the background. And again, um, you can move that forward. Let's see, did that work? No, it didn't work. Maybe we can't move it because it could be a background and it may not ever move, which is fine. But you could change. Uh, that's interesting. We've got a pattern. That's interesting. I like that. 
What about green? I like the zigzag. That's kind of a cool pattern. And I think that's good. So just click around. You're going to, you know, hey, it's free. You can figure this out. Click in the gray area and all those menus and uh, options go away. Uh, let's use, let's click on the text. Right now the text is white and it's a size 98 and it's Lilita 1, I guess. And there's a ton, probably, of different um, fonts you can use. This is really awesome, you know, by the way. I think um, if you want to make some, let's just try something, ribeye. Okay. Okay, so isn't that, that's, that's really, I like that. Let's just stay with that. Let's move the text out a little further. Can we squeeze in that? And then I'm going to move the text. Okay, it's a little tight. So what I'm going to do is I would just click once. Oh, let's clear it just to make sure. Click once on the text. Let's go for 98. What options do we have? Ooh, we got a bunch. About 96. Okay. And now that seems to work a little bit better. Let's see if it has a centering. It doesn't have a centering help. But what you see is what you get. That's good. Now let's go back out to some elements. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Icons. Let's just drop in a fun. How about a little... Um, a uh, light bulb okay now it's going to come in here really <clears throat> big but look we have corners that we can resize and we just go boom 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 okay you don't want to clutter this um let's just go right in there now let's see is there any color mm, we don't want to make it green that would be hard uh, i don't like that i'm going to go back and there's a undo in the top left boom okay and it'll remember all your steps so you can always undo it all the way back um let's just delete that and i'm going to click once and hit the trash can let's see what other cool things we have here notice that all of these are free how about the check mark let's put the check mark and maybe we could send that to the back. That looks kind of weird. You know, it's behind the text. But let's, uh, uh, let's move. I'm just moving things around. I'm, I'm playing. Let's bring the check mark and make it a smaller check mark. Let's bring our text back. Do you see? I mean, I, I'm loving this already. Okay. Um, that is good. Let's go to the text one more time. And change the color to red, maybe. Oh, that's interesting. Yellow. Uh, yellow's not too bad. Let's try that. Okay, so things are coming along. Well, what if we went yellow here on the little check mark uh, guy? Let's see if I can grab that. Right, whoops. Oh, I created a page too. That's interesting. Uh, let's just undo that. So you're going to make mistakes. I make mistakes. It's okay. Uh, that's the text. You know what we want to do is I'm going to move the text away. Let's see, just move it. When you, if you get rid of the menu, then you can start over and I'll move the text. Then I can, uh, grab the, uh, check. What I want to do is click on it. Let's change that to yellow. Okay. And now let's see. Move it off to the side. Move our text up. Okay, so you're getting the idea that some experimentation is okay. I got to move that kind of right there. And now I'll move the text over. That's pretty darn good. Okay. Um, a lot of things are free. Okay. Icons. Let's see if you wanted to add some text. Different different t text um, like dropping in something really big if you needed something big you could do that I'll delete it and of course um, why don't we get let's see if we can get color yeah we do get colors 
That's the uh, boldness of it. Let's click here. Click on the and so we could do red. That you know you're not going to have a ton of fonts, and that is just sweet. And so let's uh, how do we delete? We'll click on that once. And use the trash can to, to delete it. Okay, pretty awesome. Um, there's, you know, elements, there's layouts. Uh, we started with how to train your puppy. We changed it. Um, and you could just keep trying and, and doing things. But let's, this video is about 10 minutes. Uh, this is plenty long. So let's go and... Uh, this will be saved in my Canva account, so I can come back here. If I have a design style that's working well, I can just uh, keep that. You know what I want to really want to do is move this uh, check over right about there. Now I'll move the Canva text back. So this is really looking good. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, download it. And... We want the JPEG or the high, you want the high quality. Uh, I would go with the high quality PNG. So let's click that. So it's saving and then doing the design and all that. This is really sweet. Now, the bottom left of my browser, it is uh, sharing the image. Let's show that in the finder. Okay, isn't that awesome? So here I have... This beautiful image, it's 1280 by 720, which is exactly the size you want, okay? And as you can see, the dimensions right down there. It's on my hard drive. It's in my downloads folder, okay? So what I will do is stop this video and then upload this um, image, and it has the title right there. Use Canva for cool YouTube thumbnails, free, okay, .png. And so, yeah. This is pretty awesome. And I can come back under my account. Let's just go to... All right, let's... Um, I'm going to go to the previous tab because that was my um, Canva account. Let's go to all my designs. And, oh, yeah, I've made some a lot of different things over the, over the last few months. Um, so here it is. I don't know why it's blank there, but let's click. So there, I'm back to, I could use something, I could do something different. So, but now I have the file downloaded, and it's ready to upload onto YouTube. Pretty fantastic. Hope you enjoyed this. Now, think about this. Go and make a video doing the same thing I did. Do something, do something that has your voice and your creative, you know, whatever. And you'll make mistakes and all that. That's fine. People want to see, because they want to get a sense that, that it's, it's okay to make mistakes. And you're going to show them that. So make a video using Canva, just what you learned today. And pretty soon, a lot of people use this free service. And you'll get some really nice YouTube thumbnails at exactly the right size. It's really cool. Hope you enjoyed this. Give me a like if you did, a comment as to what you liked about this. And you can subscribe for more content down the road. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.